The greatest feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my silent treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Stash of the Prada. That's how a nigga got up. Gun in the mass in the grass, it's a pop up. I was Robin Hood with the stock, don't get shot up. Now I'm watching Robin Hood in my stocks, they just shot up. Just on the mic, you gotta control the crowd. Like that story you told y'all with the big meat shit. Like he'll play a record with the Maui. He do that method still right now. He'll do that shit with like no hands from walking them and you know the beginning and say, listen to this track, bitch. So he'll play some out of nowhere RB record and then cut it off and then play that and turn the party up. Big I done man. watched this nigga put DJ for like 12 or six hours, matter of fact, and CIAA, you ever been to CIAA? 10, 11 in the, in the you morning ever been to, to like 8 I in do. the afternoon, Straight 8 in the seven evening, hours you feel me? So like, seven hours music. no bathroom I'm, break, I'm no seeing nothing, shit nothing. like that. I hear everybody no else break. saying it, but in my head, I'm like, I'm drinking tons of water, but no bathroom You break. saying this because it's my pops and it sound cool, but when I'm seeing it, now I'm I'm seeing a different thing. I'm seeing how you command the crowd. I'm seeing the records being played. You got like a little Rockefeller set that I'm not going to say too much because niggas already be stealing the shit. But... <laughs> Word. I'll be having a but, but, but I, no, no, hold on, hold on. I gotta ask this question because I know that's a big deal. Um, Cypher Sounds, Flex playing the record, because you guys weren't getting along at the time. Yeah, yeah man. Um we had a we, we had a situation that was um that was geared up by a lot of street street talk. You know what I mean? And for me and Flex, we had a little incident. And that was me coming home from a, a party and he was on the radio talking stuff with Buster and he said something that pertained to me and I took it out of control. So it was like, you know, what, back in what, the day, what was the... it was just saying like, you know, some DJs get beat up for playing records and that was the naughty situation. Right. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's on site. I didn't even want to even say nothing. It was on site. Right. So we had our little spat, boom, 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 boom. And... Um, years later, I uh, saw him at Club Envy, and I went up to him like, man, I told him, I said, yo, you know, as you get older, you 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 get wiser of situations that will happen. I said, hopefully. we both, yeah, huh? hopefully, hopefully, do. Yeah. Right? I said, me, I, you know what I'm saying, like, at the time, my son wasn't even on the radar for him to play at the time, but I just went as a man, I seen him, I said, you know, man, I ain't got no time to be have a nigga see me and niggas stand in front of me. I don't you know, we was cool. You know what I'm saying? I got records of his that he gave me that his fuck my deflect stamp on it. Like that we was cool when he had the Mark Five back in the day. So you know what I'm saying? That's a he been always a good dude. So mm. so when he played my son's record without even me even having to make a call or anything like that. I took that as being a, on the, my father's side kicked it. Father kicked it. But yo, my nigga, that was respect. And the day he said to me was like, yo, he said, I didn't even know it was your son. When I found out it was your son, I played it even more because I want to see the next generation win. He says, it's not even about me and you. Mm -hmm. It's about seeing our kids yeah. move. My nigga, when he said that right there, man, I punched myself in the face. My nigga, because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, my nigga, and I got DJs who's friends that, that's on the radio that's friends. Like, I used to go with Clue, you know, be on my, you know, my, my old man shit sometimes. Right. But I, but I remember with Clue, and, and Clue and, and Clue and Flex play my son. Yeah. They didn't have to at all, but they play my son more than mm. the guys who I was smacking five going out to eat yeah, with day day. Flex, one of my and, main and that shit and, 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 and that shit shouldn't be, but but I, my grandma told you on the phone, my grandma would say, sometimes the people that you least expect be the ones that carry you over the threshold, man. And mm. and that's just how, you know, that's how it be in, in, in the game. Like, you know, like, I made friends, I made friends, I know a lot of people hate me because I tell the real. Right. But if... Jesus. But if 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 I don't tell the real, I wouldn't be who I am. Yeah, nah, yeah. Like I don't know how many niggas you know. I've been in the game about thirty years. That should help, though. Right? Let's keep it on with you. Uh, you I never walked. 
I never walked these streets with security ever in my life. I never walked in a club with security in my life. If you know me, you ask any promoter. Ask John, you ask um, Kev, they'll tell you. I come in the club by myself. I walk in the club, do my job, and go home by myself. I had the best of cars, I had the biggest chains on my neck, and I can walk in towns by myself in any city. I go to Chicago, I was going by myself. I was going to Memphis, I went by myself. DJ with Devin Steele, shout out to my boy Devin Steele. Mm -hmm. I met Gotti, that's how I met Gotti. Um, I went to, I used to go to Miami. I used to go see, um, uh, what's my nigga, Cali, what's Cali, I'm not Cali like that. Um, uh, big black nigga. E class. E class. Oh, shit. E class, my guy. Like I, that's how I mean. E class. <laughs> Say, yo, you a case study of the realest niggas ever. That's another person you had a problem with at yeah, one but, point in time, but yeah, played we, me the most. Yeah, me and case had a problem, wow. and and the, how me and case Slade squashed it. I got he used made mixtapes about me. Like yo, he had a dirty Kooji suit. The DJ with the dirty Kooji suit on. <laughs> Bro, I'm buy, I'm heavy buying mixtapes. I couldn't buy action figures no more. None of that shit. My step pops dubbed that shit for me, so I'm buying CDs like it's my like toys and shit. Right. I got tired of that shit. I'm here. My <laughs> first time I'm hearing of K Slay on. I buy. I got a mixtape. He go crazy on this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know but what that I'm that 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 boosted my that boosted my juices up to go back. You know, right. Slay says slap your favorite DJ. Man. So I got yeah. I got tired of some nigga nigga th nigga thinking I'm nigga think I'm sweet. So party man party around us put us on the phone. He was like, "What the fuck you want?" And I said, "My nigga, not for this shit, my nigga. Where you at?" I said, "Let me come to your block. Where you at, nigga?" Like I, I said, what, what we doing? When I see this on site. Let's do it. Let's do it. I said, "You dollar bill, all you niggas. I'm coming to see all you niggas." I don't need nobody. I'm going by myself. I was on my shit like that. Right. We got cool from that phone call. Because he was like, nah, man. You know, you know, you said something. I said, I didn't say nothing. You went on the word of somebody else. They told you that because they tried to divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. I said, but whatever you want to do, we can do it. But right. I, I'm cool with everybody you cool with. Right. I said, I used to run the east side just like you used to run the east side, my nigga. I said, you know, that, that East Side talk, I used to throw that my whole my, on my whole family, Shariba and all of them are my family. Shout out to the East Side of Harlem. Right. They, they, they held me down at parties. Side. I used to do my East biggest side. parties. Back in the day, that's how I got onto the street. I used to throw Reebok parties. Mm -hmm. I used to get 54 11s away for the ladies. So, <laughs> you know, the girls would wait. And I used to do that at 1199, the gym at yeah. So I used to give out the Reeboks, and that's, the, that's how me and my man Chuck Black used to get all the. You know, all the people come out, right. and, and that was the, you know, hustlers the hustle all week to get their gear out to see, well, we got an SNS party. And then when I get in there, you know, 1199 guys was always, you know, get my man Ash, shout out to my man Ash, you know, over there, and they used to show me love. And then Ash, the Ash. East Side, I was shouting the East Side on the mixtapes. Bully too. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing like shouting the East Side. Was, I could walk the streets hard with my chest out. I used to go niggas blocks. It's, that used to be the key. And I tell DJs this, relationships mean a lot. Yeah. Like, if you want to be able to walk free in these streets, you got to be cool with niggas in your area. Where my dogs at? Yeah, welcome me back. Where my dogs at? Yeah, welcome me back. Where my dogs at? Yeah, welcome me back. It's nine niggas single again. Yeah, I'm single. In the club trying to mingle. Fuck relationships, cause a nigga never been for. Can't have just one like a Pringle. So I'ma keep it simple. Listen here, icy on my wrist, aware. No guilt, I'm in the clear. Photos of my ex on my Instagram disappear. Yeah, I'm single. In the club trying to mingle. Fuck relationships, cause a nigga never been for.